All right, PLE students, I'm going to go over the uh, beam bending problems with unique values. Uh, you should have received an email from me on week five Wednesday uh, in your, into your email inbox that looks something like this. This is an email that I sent to myself, and it has unique values. Uh, you're, you, need, you need to answer your problems, the last two problems with these unique values, okay? Um, and this is the link right here that you will click on to answer the rest of the problems. And I'm going to open this up in Notability. And um, <clears throat> you will just answer the, the questions and submit your answers. So this one here, what is the moment of inertia is what you're looking for. It's a 1 by 12 inch board and you need to always pay very close attention to what position it's in. This is in the plank position. So for this one here, we have um, our equation for moment of inertia is moment of inertia equals the base times the height cubed divided by 12. The plank position looks like that right there. So it's going to be 1 by 12. So the 12, the one is for the height is going to be the smaller number in the plank position. So for this equation, we have our base is 12 times 1 cubed, and we're going to divide that by 12. Now, I don't know that you need to do this in decimals, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, 1 and cubed is right there times 12 and divide by 12 gives you the answer of 1. And some of you are saying, well, I could have told you that um, because, you know, the height is 1. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1 times 12 is 12. Divide by 12 is 1. So I just wanted to keep showing you how to do it in decimals. The next one here, uh, number 2, again, you're looking for the moment of inertia. Again, it's a 1 by 12. This one is in the joist position, also called the vertical position. So that means that your that the that the beam is going to be one inch by twelve inches. Okay, this time the, the height is the twelve and the base is one. So our equation base times height, we've got one times twelve cubed divide by twelve. Okay. So, to punch those numbers in, 12 cubed times 1 divided by 12 gives you 144. <clears throat> Again, you should just be typing these numbers in. I can't type them in because I'm in notability right now. But you would just type your answers in, and then you'll submit that at the bottom. Number three, what is the moment of inertia? Again, we're looking for moment of inertia. It's a 2 by 10, and this is in the plank position. And again, here's the plank position. You've got 2 inches by 10 inches. Okay. And our same equation, base times the height cubed divided by 12. So 2 cubed times 10 divided by 12. 2 cubed times 10 divided by 12 looks like 6.666 and it tells us to round it to two decimal places to the two yeah two numbers to the right of the decimal place so this is going to be 6.67 okay number 5 <coughs> We have a 20-foot beam. Moment of inertia is 40 um, inches to the fourth. Supported on both ends. It's loaded with 400 pounds. And we're given the modulus of elasticity is 17 times 10 to the sixth PSI. So <clears throat> when we do these kinds of problems, I like to... The length is 20. Um, the moment of inertia is 40. 
the force is 400 and the Young's modulus of elasticity is 17 times 10 to the sixth and we are looking for the first one here says how many inches long is the beam so <clears throat> very important we started out with 20 feet okay and we're going to convert from feet to inches for every one foot there are 12 inches okay and that cancels out feet so 20 times 12 oops wrong one here 20 20 times 12 gives us 240. Oops, I'm going to the wrong one again. 240 inches. Okay. Young's modulus is given to you here as 17 times 10 to the 6th. So that would be 17 with six zeros 17 million okay and then how much would the beam deflect okay so we have our equation is Young's modulus equals the force times the load cubed divided by 48 times E times I Okay, and all that information is given up here. I just put it off to the side. So let's just go ahead and put it into the equation right here. We have 400 times our length. Now, here we were given it in 20 feet, but we need to make sure that our number is in inches. So that's why number five had us do that conversion. You'll always need to make sure you convert if, it's, if the length is given in feet you have to convert it to inches. So that was 240 cubed divided by 48 times E is 17 million. Okay, I'm just going to leave it at this number here for now. Times uh, the moment of inertia is 40. Okay, <clears throat> so 240 cubed times 400 240 cubed times 400 divided by 48 times 17 million times what was it was 40 was our our um, moment of inertia so we get 0.16 nine 0.1694 I think it said to round it off to three digits yeah three numbers to the right of the decimal point so we're going to round that off to 0.169 okay um, number 8 through 11 are dealing with this right here all the information is given to you uh, the first one's here says what is the moment of inertia for the beam Answer two numbers to the right of the decimal point. So again, moment of inertia. I equals base times height cubed divided by 12. And we're given the base here and the height. Okay, so it's the base is 1.5 times 5.5 cubed divide by 12 5.5 5 cubed times 1.5 divide by 12 20.79 is going to have to be rounded off to 20. 20.796 is going to have to be rounded off to 20.80 What is the length of the beam in inches? So we're given the beam length in feet, 11 feet. 
convert that to inches, 11 feet times 12 inches per every foot. Feet cancel out, 11 times 12. Gives us 132. 132 inches. And number 10, the Young's modulus. What is the Young's modulus of the beam? Okay, so for this one here, we have the maximum deflection. equals the force times the length cubed divided by 48 times E times I. Okay, so what numbers can we put in here? Um, all the numbers that were given here, um, what are we looking at? What is Young's modulus of the beam? Oh, we're already given Young's modulus is right here already. We don't have to calculate that. But there's 1.5 times 10 to the 6th. So for this number, uh, we've got 1.5. And we're gonna, with the exponent here of 6, we're going to move the decimal point 6 places to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to have to add 5 zeros. So that's going to be 1,500,000. Okay, so 1,500,000. And how much would the beam deflect? Okay, this is where we're going to use this equation right here. The maximum beam deflection is going to be the force is 200 pounds times the length was 11 feet but we calculated that out is 100 132 inches so 200 times 132 let's go right up here 200 times 132 and that's cubed divided by 48 times the modulus of elasticity we just saw it's 1,500,000 times the moment of inertia we calculated here was 20.8. 20 20.8. 20 so let's make sure we got the right numbers here. 200, that looks right. 132 cubed. 100. 132 cubed times 200 divided by 48 times 1,500,000 times 20.8 and that gives us 0 0.3071 our answer should be rounded off three numbers to the right of the decimal point is going to be point three zero seven okay so that's through number 11 numbers 12 and 13 now these are worth more more points the numbers 1 through 11 are worth one point each but numbers 12 and 13 are worth five points each so you need to use your unique values from the email that was sent to you in other words uh, the email that was sent to me for my values um, were these numbers right here okay but don't use those numbers you need to open up your email and use the numbers that were sent to you fill them in here and answers question 12 and 13 number 12 is asking for the moment of inertia okay and number 13 is asking for how much it would deflect so you guys should be able to do these now if you have questions let me know